What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol TSLA for Tesla Inc., of course. On the left-hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right-hand side, the 30-minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will, of course, be an update. We talk about the stock regularly, but most importantly, we got an earnings announcement after the bell today. So let's flip on the extended hour session and see what's going on with the number here. And zooming in, what you'll notice is that there was quite a bit of volatility. I mean, it was all the way down here, closer to 885, then all the way back up here, close to 960. 70. I mean, that's a fairly significant range. Like we're talking about $100, right? Almost 10% on a $1,000 stock. Regardless, it's not clear that we'll be opening on a gap up or gap down. We sort of middled out and, you know, we're currently trading towards the lower third of today's range. Of course, lots of volatility when Jerome Powell got on the microphone around two o'clock. So we're not going to assume that we open on a gap up or down. We'll just assume we kind of open in range and treat the analysis like we would any other day. Of course, tomorrow, as you know, people get get excited about earnings and potentially what that means, there might be more volume here. Uh, but without a gap, it's not going to give us any indication of, you know, early trades to take gap fills, gap fades, gap and go all of that good stuff. So what do we have on the docket here? Certainly just an indecisive candle. However, I would point out that we did make a clear higher high. And we also have equal lows that are now above this prior set as well as I've, I mean, obviously clearly above the low from Monday, even with the earnings volatility. So all of that being said, I have to be a little bit optimistic that maybe this holds as some sort of local bottom. As we know, the major line in the sand is just going to be that four figure number 1000. We didn't quite make it there today. Uh, it's not overly bearish the fact that we didn't make it there, but it's just also not uh, a massive bullish indication that we, you know, tested above that number. So that's all I'm really seeing from the daily. Again, the candle structure would just indicate some serious indecision with the uh, volatility from Fed Chair Powell at noon or two o'clock rather. From the 30 minute time frame, I would point this out though, and this is something that uh, is fairly interesting. I didn't have it on the chart, but if we come from here and do something like that, notice that we are continuously, you know, respecting this resistance trend line. And we kind of made it up towards that on today's session. So, you know, the trend could potentially change in Tesla before we break 1000 if it's a break of the resistance trend line, right? So maybe something like this foreshadows the move to 1000 and potential break after that. And that's definitely something I would have on your radar into the remainder of the week. So depending on when it ultimately happens, could be anywhere from 987 down to, let's just say it's later on in the week towards the end of Friday, 960. So about a 20 point range there, uh, 87 to 60 or let's call it 85 to 65, right? So that's the resistance trend line. That's probably the thing I would start to focus on. Again, from the daily, we pointed out those higher lows and you can see that here, lows, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. We did have that volatility spur, but nonetheless, it's a large lower wick indicating buyers really stepped up there and coinciding with the fact that earnings are kind of keeping us flat right now, kind of around this area. It doesn't seem like, you know, it's just going to fall out of bed into tomorrow's session. Now, could that happen? Yeah, it always could happen. But based on what we're seeing here on the 30 minute, I would start watching out for, okay, higher low again, reattempt of resistance trend line. Maybe it breaks this time around and we make it to 1000 and potentially higher after that. We know the first target would really be 1040 coming from that little dead cat bounce right around there last Thursday uh, of the prior week, right? To the downside, if it does want to break the sort of higher low pattern that we've been putting in so far, if we start forming new lower lows, I would argue just things that are underneath 920, then, and, and along with lower highs, of course, we would start to build a descending triangle, right? Something like this and flushes should take you back down closer to Monday's lows around uh, 855. As of right now, again, I'm not really seeing the case for that to happen. Uh, in the short term, the higher lows look promising. The break of the resistance trend line off of a higher low like this looks fairly promising for at least 1000. If we fail at 1000, maybe that's a broader indication that, hey, we're not quite ready to move higher again. Uh, but one step at a time, we would have to see that failure, that rejection at 1000 before we potentially speculate that, you know, it's uh, it's too soon for Tesla to be moving higher. So that's what I've got for you. If you enjoyed the video today or learned anything new, let me know in the comment section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.